This is not the best shelter I've ever made by any means, but... Well, let's see if it does. some for tonight and tomorrow. I'm uh, being kind of stupid. I already got my pants wet. I, uh, I have rain pants too. I need to get those on. I need to make sure that I don't get completely saturated. Because it's going to rain from here on out. All right, baby, chicken time. Perfect. That's a lot of chicken. That should be good for tomorrow. I might collect a little bit more tonight. Uh, we'll see. But I'm gonna kick back and enjoy the, the thunderstorm. I'm completely saturated. Well, at least all my rain clothes are. It's a wet one. I got the line hung up in the tree to hang the food up, keep it away from bears. Basically, I'm all set for bed.
morning. <laughs> I'm freezing. The sleeping bag's only rated down to five degrees Celsius, and it's not very warm. Mistakes were made. That was not a good night's sleep. <sighs> Damn. I brought this down last night because water was dripping down these things right under my sleeping bag. It was uh, super unfortunate. Water's collecting on these tabs, running down the inside and dripping right on top of me. Like that's that's unacceptable. Maybe my tarp setup's not ideal, but um, that shouldn't happen. At least it's fresh water. Oh, thank goodness. Last night was uh, terrible. <laughs> Just terrible. My sleeping bag choice was the biggest blunder. In my opinion, sleeping bag is the most important piece of gear. Anyways, on the breakfast menu today, we got a, a Xander Bunnick special, uh, one of my favorites. It's salami and brie jam on toast. Bon appétit. <laughs> oh, this place is miserable. <laughs> I mean, it'd be, it'd be so easy to go home. It's just like a couple hour hike out and I can go home. But to stay here and to try to enjoy myself in this uncomfortable place, like that's the challenge. And that's what we're here for. So leaving this is just, uh, it's not an option. <laughs> I would not feel good about it. It's the best water I've had camping in a long time. Nature's Brita filter. Precipitation. <laughs> Absolutely lovely day. I gave myself a haircut yesterday. I know it looks terrible. I took all the clippings off the top of my head and glued them to my lip. Do you like? I hope so.
So the weather's lightened up a bit. So I think now is the perfect time to move camp. So I'm going to do that now. So I've been walking around for a couple of hours now trying to find a nice place to camp and there's not much. This seems to be the flattest. I got water here even though the water looks absolutely disgusting. I'm tired. I'm going to make this camp tonight. Okay. Eh, it'll do. I was originally gonna make this thing as tall as I am so I could stand up, but I broke one of these support poles. Shit. And then my brain told me, no Xander, don't go get another pole. Why don't you just sit down and enjoy yourself? Yeah, I was being lazy, I was being lazy. The stuff is completely soaked. I'll use the dry birch bark to burn the wet birch bark to burn the wet twigs to get my fire going. All right, dinner time. I got garlic bread, prosciutto and salami, mozzarella cheese, pizza sauce. I'm making micro pizzas. I mean, they're really like mini pizzas, but micro pizza sounds way funnier, so. Things first, we get our dirty pan, brush it off a bit, lather it in the pizza sauce, garlic bread in the pizza sauce, boom. There we go. Next thing we get our salami. 
some prosciutto on. Boom, right on top, just like that. Those look pretty tasty. Wrap them up, get them in there. And fingers crossed I don't burn them. Oh, hell yeah. Hey, not burnt. Look at that. I guarantee these don't look as good as they're about to taste. Yep, they're good. This was not my first time cooking these. A bit earlier I cooked three others and I, uh, I destroyed them. I burnt them pretty bad. The sauce is cold on the top and the bottom's completely burnt. I was afraid of that. Yeah, just black on the bottom. It could have been so great and yet it was just so crap. This is, this is the opposite, this is great. Too many micro pizzas. Oh. Wow, yesterday seems like forever ago. And last night it was just a tough one. It was a tough, uncomfortable one. I'm gonna go back to my micro pizza coma and we're talking. <sighs> I cannot tell you how nice it is to be dry right now. Well, I guess I just did. It's really nice being dry right now. That was a much better sleep than the night before. Much better. What a reasonable and mundane type of day. But compared to yesterday, a damp, wet, cold morning, today is blissful. Yeah, sometimes you gotta go through the crap to appreciate the mundane. It's part of the reason I like coming out in the woods sometimes. Everything's more difficult, everything requires more effort, everything's harder, everything's more uncomfortable. And you go home and everything's just easy. It makes you appreciate what you have. It's one of the reasons I like going out. Just one of them. Awesome trip, great trip. Hope you guys enjoyed that one as much as I did. Thanks for watching, have a great day.